Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at the latest update I've done to my fork of Arc OS. So first of all, if you are already on my build uh, from a previous update, then all you should need to do is go to options and update as per usual. If you've never used my firmware before, then you need to look at the uh, either the wiki page, which will be uh, below in the description, or the YouTube video, which I'll which I'll also post a link to in the description, which explains how to move over from the final build to my fork. So, new features in this update. First of all, if you go into the tools section, you will find. A new thing that uh, Christian, the author of ArcOS, has created, which is excellent work on his behalf, which is Portmaster, which is a, uh, a replacement for Amber Ports eventually. So you can check for updates when you put it in if you need to. But as you can see, you can install all these new ports just by selecting them. Just a uh, I know a lot of them are already in Amber Ports, but there's a couple of new ones like Open Jazz, that's quite good, Jazz Jack Rabbit. Right, so that's that. When you when you actually install the port, you just need to restart the uh, emulation station so it sees the new port in the ports section. So the other thing I've done is I've updated both RetroArcs to 1.9.8 as you can see there in the corner 1.9.8 and I've also uh, done the 32-bit one as well also for uh, Genesis we have added uh, the new core which is for Master System and Genesis which is the Genesis plus GX wide which on certain games don't seem to work for all of them gives you a more widescreen experience with your games and the one other thing I've done is I've updated the, uh, the PSP emulator to a new build see there so just get, try and get into focus 1.11.3 so hopefully that'll get you some better emulation and the final thing that's been done is the standalone Wolfenstein port so you got so, so I've got Spirit Destiny and Wolfenstein now there is one slight snag with this uh, port. The first time you launch it, it will launch in 640 before 80 because it's uh, been set up that way for the because it's taken from the V build. But that's easily fixed. So you just start it up and it goes like that. Yeah? But all you need to do is go into options. Display setup, screen resolution, and then just change it to uh, 480 by 320. And that will fix that and it will save it and in the future you won't have that problem. And the other thing I've noticed is the uh, auto map is, isn't um, bound. So I would suggest you buying that. And it's just a case of going down to it, go across the joystick section, press select, and now I'll, I'll put on the select key. And then start a game. And there you go. And if you press select, you get a nice auto map. Oops, 
That's the one button. So yeah, that works for Spear of Destiny and Wolfenstein. I don't know if it works for any others. I'll investigate that later. And the only other issue with this build is I still can't get uh, Easy RPG to work. It just exits. I need to look into that further. But that didn't work on the previous uh, fork of mine either. I've broken something, sorry. So yeah. I hope uh, you'll enjoy using this new, uh, firmware. Any uh, comments? And I'm on the re retro handheld um, Discord. Or you can contact me on the Emulation Fan Group Facebook page, which I'm also my admin on there. If you need any help, I will try my best. Well, I hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching this video. I shall see you in the next one.